Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another solo challenge. Let's go ahead, roll with some Elysium, and we'll try and again explain our moves a little bit more. So again, Inventrix, $45 starting, that's not so bad. The real value in competitive can often be just getting three more cards on a science tag that can open up some doors to you. Plus or minus two, always worth checking to see if you have like a, a low ocean requirement card. Kelp farming, for instance, six oceans is a lot easier to get to than minus four heat for trees, for instance. Credit core, on the other hand, big, big starting cash, but you're really only going to proc this minus 20 a handful of times unless you're already doing well. This is a win harder kind of build because a lot of those plus 20 cards are more vanity projects than they are actually helpful terraforming. If we look in here, we could start with some oxygen, we could start with some heat, we could start with some gener generic everything. Sometimes you need the energy to start. Let's see what's going on. Optimal arrow breaking with nitrogen rich asteroid. <sighs> and the option to go for special design. No starting stuff here, but I mean, I think you try and make that work. Um, oxygen is not really needed if you are gonna get those bumps. Optimal arrow breaking, nitrogen rich. We get some science tags, so special design and a, and a plant tag. And then if we get nothing good in the first couple rounds, I'm actually tempted to pick these up because you don't know what we're going to get. Three cards, uh, Olympus conference, some half card draw, some space discount. Let's actually start with SF Memorial, if you'll believe it. Just get one more card coming in. Because, like, release of inner gas is at least two income. So I'm actually going to play that first. And all this stuff we're going to wait on for a turn. Because it doesn't give me anything this turn. May as well see what comes up. Earth Catapults and Cartel, for instance. Pretty good. Optimal Arrow Breaking is something that works with Optimal Arrow Breaking. Or Arrow Break Demonia, sorry. Um... And I could grab it, sure. It means we're not doing anything this turn because I'm waiting for Earth Catapult. Advanced Alloys and Mining Area. Now this is, and honestly, Micro Mills, if we're gonna have a discount card, something that we're certainly interested in. I don't wanna spend any of my metal until I have Advanced Alloys. So let's once again, just pass. I mean, it's a really, really slow start. Uh, and there's some plant tags, my lordy. We have no money, for the record. No money, we're just rolling. Um, I mean, I will overpay, but I'm, I'm a little bit upset that I did. Because I waited a whole turn to play that. Molehole area is actually terraforming, so let's go ahead and grab that. Cartel, we do have some science tags. Obviously, was hoping for more. Let's play you. And I need to be able to place a mine. So none of here is going to work. I could get some titanium if I put it in the corner for no bonus, or I could get some steel income. Titanium income is actually what I'm after right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that. This has been too slow for the record. This is a really slow run. I mean, cartel at this point is is fine. It's not again, it's this is all just too too slow. Oh, quantum that helps a lot. Hired raiders that helps and AI central that helps. I mean, if we're going to be slow, we may as well have the card draw for it. Three science tags. So it's steel to steel and play AI central. Draw an extra card. Convoy from Europa. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. We're getting some space stuff. We're getting some discounts coming up here in a second. Quantum is the most important thing we need for discounts. I forgot, I was supposed to be talking about my thought process this game. That didn't happen, sorry about that. Discounts and steel, very important. 
We're trying to get as many cards in our hand as possible. 19 seems insane, I know. Uh, but the fact that we have a discount incentivizes us to just go crazy with it. Um, let's draw a bunch of cards and see what we can get. Yes, maybe. Um, all right. We want as much metal income as possible as well. There's a lot of things that we're after right now. But I think that we need to get started with some discounts here. So we'll do the space station. Then that works our way into optimal arrow breaking. And then for $4, right, we're going to be able to get... Or sorry, for, for, with our $4 titanium, we can get an, a convoy from Europa. Honestly, let's just grab the titanium first turn. And then more metal income is like absolutely what I want to go after. I wouldn't have minded uh, industrial microbes. I'm questioning whether I want that more. Uh, and I think the answer is yes. We've basically completely given up on the initial uh, thesis of what we were going to do with Inventrix. And I think I'm okay with that now that we've gotten some synergy out of space discounts and event rebates and stuff. Look at these freaking science tags. My lord. Acquired company is almost worth playing. It's that insane. Ooh, Mars University means that we're going to be able to get insane amounts of cards. This is a card discount cycle, half a card draw, all the things. Incredible. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Four titanium is $16 worth. I think we go for towing a comet. Or for asteroid mining, but I think if I can get like it, like more steel income, that's good. Sixteen dollars, ice asteroid. Uh, look, asteroid mine. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, man. We're going penny in, in for a penny, in for a pound strategies here. Acquired company, five bucks for three income. I'm just up in the income, baby. I'm not looking at anything else. We're up in that income. We're getting that Skrilla. We got more science tanks to come. Titanium mine. This is a billion medals coming in. That's a lot of money. We are now at risk, but with all the card draw that we have, we should be okay. Science tags give us a card cycle and a card draw. A wild tag, not something I really need right now, except it is if I want to go for nitrogen-rich asteroid as fast as possible. I mean, I'm saying as fast as possible. That's relative, obviously, to doing all these other actions. Let's do card draw card cycle first, because this one's free. Decomposers, we can literally already play that. IO Mining Industries is like absolutely not worth playing. I want to play it. It'll give me uh, $10 worth of income. 10, 11, 12, three times. It'll almost pay for itself. But I need to terraform the planet. At this point, like, we are, we're pretty much lost. Um, we're pretty much lost. So let's go ahead and get... Oh, I, I did that before getting decomposers. Sorry about that. One plant tag. Another plant tag. We double check. We already can't afford you, unfortunately. I've just picked up too many things, which is something I'm used to doing, but I still get upset at myself for doing it. Let's go ahead and get, I mean, if I got the two plants, we would have had enough for greenery that turn. I chose not to, um, for right or for wrong, uh, because I didn't want to give up on a adjacency. Getting an extra greenery down here doesn't seem that appealing to me, worth rushing one turn. So just getting the extra two bucks back seemed right all right now arctic algae absolutely playable protected valley something we can do with our metals we can still win this with cards like arctic algae but we need to go even further and get like giant ice asteroid comets all kinds of these crazy cards uh that right now 
we're not looking so hot on. I do have the plant tags though, so let's get the nitrogen rich. That will get us a couple extra turns of more plants. I am going to do the research. I hope this doesn't give me a discount or I'll be pissed. See, I hate that you can't get a card draw on that one. It never seems to let you do it. Uh, I mean, look at all these Jovians. Pretty insane. Absolutely not something that we should be doing. Um, I can play Protected Valley. If card draw is really what we need, then let's go for it. Yikes. Um, I do have five plant tags if you count the wilds. So, if I can get $9, am I really willing to sell five cards? I wouldn't have to if I had just not taken Aerobake Demonia, if I had not taken Inventor's Guild, if I had not taken a lot of these. But instead, let's forget the past and move forward with selling $5 worth of cards that don't help us terraform. I already can't, I don't even, I didn't even need to do that because I already have special design. Ugh. Well, now I feel extra dumb. I literally had the card in my hand to cheat, so I figured I needed it. Big oopsie. Did I not draw my two cards? Oh my god. All right. Y'all y'all can be upset with me. All right. I made some boo-boos this time. This is a science tag that's actually worth playing this time because I can do it using steel, which I don't have other cards for. The other things that I had been picking up were not so great. This one, this one's better. I'm sorry for having wasted your time. Um, hackers, you're bad. Get out of here. Survey. I mean, look, so, so much card draw, but if I don't get Deimos down, then it's not worth it. It's like that simple, but here we go. Card draw, card draw. That's three card draw and a cycle. Permafrost extraction, at least you're playable. Don't care about ecology zone. I don't care about the cities. I am going to put Inventor's Guild out there. I just got to keep, keep cycling. I got to get to the bottom of this. Oh, come on. What do we got? What do we got? Mass converter. Okay, okay. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling, folks. More discounts. More better. What could possibly go wrong? If you just keep buying discounts, eventually uh, you'll get an ocean card that you want to play, right? Keep going, baby. Science types. We're going to get the most cards drawn. We're going to get through the whole freaking deck. I'm saying that. I'm absolutely lying. For the record, we have 116 cards to go. Um, but at this point, I guess we're just doing ox bumps with our energy. Oh, we had Lagrange. Okay, more card draw. More card draw. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Yo, imported GHG. That's actually playable. That's a heat bump right there. Heat bump right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two more plants. That's another heat bump. Oh, I don't know, gang. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to terraform the whole planet is what I'm saying. It starts with ocean cards. Literally, we need ocean. Nothing matters except like a double ocean pickup. That's what I need. I probably could have taken that oxygen bumper to, if I'm honest. But the double ocean pickup is actually like what is needed. Uh, lava flows on Arceamon means I can play this ocean here and now we can river walk all the way up to this card draw oh come on gang all right another card cycle card draw shenanigans here search for life no good uh, Sander Technology, more card draw, more card cycle. Please, please, where are my terraforming cards? Come on. 
We actually have unironically gone through a ton of the deck. It's just, they're just not here. I mean, look, we'll go for another one here, Medical Lab. I'm desperate, man. Special design for two bucks. That's another card draw, card cycle, card draw. Ah, oh, imported. Imported boys. Gotta love them. Oh, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. All right, large convoy. I got a lot of titanium here. You're gonna come down. That's more card draw. Where are they? Where are my terraforming cards? They're in the deck, right? Like, am I crazy? There's one card draw pickup left on the freaking board. That or I play Robotic Workforce. I need oceans. I can't buy enough oceans and heat pumps. I have to keep card cycling. So robotic workforce, I mean, you can get me, I don't even know. We have $20, now we have $29. Adaptation technology, are you kidding me? I don't even have enough money at this point if I were to get the cards I need. But here we go. We're going, we're trying to get through the whole deck. All right, see, this is what I mean. Literally imported hydrogen is like, cards like that are enough. A heat bump from you could be enough, right? So we get this one for sure. Um, I'm actually thinking there's chances now is the weirdest thing. Because now if you play imported nitrogen, I'm not worried about the animals. Don't worry about that. Um, though it would be sick to play some fish, wouldn't it? But if you play imported nitrogen, then that gets you the GHG bacteria to get the heat bump, right? And then you play this bad boy. This is a space event, if you've heard of them. They're pretty sick. And you can get a bunch of plants. And then there isn't a two-plant spot, but there's a bunch of money. Though terraforming uh, isn't really that required. We just need oceans and heat bumps. I don't think that there's any like the ocean here. We go for this. There's that one. <sighs> ecological zone. What's the the cheapest way of getting that card draw is the ecological zone. So forgive me. But even at this point, what card could I possibly pick up? What card could I possibly pick up? Asteroid. There's Asteroid. Asteroid is out there. We didn't get it. No! You know what? I may have been able to sell everything. No, I still need oceans. So, no thanks. Optimal arrow breaking, I understand, gives us a heat bump and it gives us some money back. But buying heat bumps directly is still stronger. We bought every card I could. There's so many things that we could be getting points from. It is ludicrous i might keep miranda resort just for fun here um actually i'd rather get a tr something like this i mean how do you how do you even go about doing this last action you buy the aquifer you get six bucks plus the standard technology back and then yeah instead of Instead of even playing this for one steal, you just sell it all down and you buy a heat bump. Like, we genuinely, genuinely, with this many discounts, right? Two off of everything, uh, two, four more off of space, three off of Earth, and the money back stuff, we genuinely could have won that. And we could have made a show of it. Like, I'm not even joking. Drawing through the additional cards are sick. Like, big asteroid, normal asteroid, giant ice asteroid, Deimos down. All of those things would be good, right? I promise there's even more. Even the light terraforming events for, like, the cheaper oceans and stuff. Like, 
My lordy. Let's connect most of our... Oh, I should have put a greenery there instead of here. That would have connected all of our tiles. Boo. I mean, we still got 99 points. So, I mean, we were just too greedy picking up cards. It hurt our engine too much. Um, but it was a bad start. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna post it on bad start. Like I could have played Nitrogen Rich Asteroid with some green tags in round seven, let's say. By just buying heat bumps and using uh some clever inventric stuff, not buying any cards. But like it was way more fun to go after the card draw, the medals, the money. I played it super fast and loose. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was having fun. I was excited, okay? Normally, I'm... Well, I don't know. Normally, I'm a little bit more muted and just kind of going through. Here, I was just I was just having a good time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had too much fun. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.